Okay. There you if have you, it. If you don't like science after this shit, <laughs> there's something wrong with you. So dark really is just unknown. Unknown. And it, I, I've made a case, I think a strong case, that dark matter should be renamed dark gravity. Yes. Because that's what it actually is. Right. We don't know what has made it matter or anything. Mm. See, now, if you, call, if you call it dark gravity, now we've actually given it a thing. And we'll, we'll, we should call it black gravity, okay? Because <laughs> then they will find out <laughs> what it is. <laughs> the cops will be and all over that. Let me tell you no, something. <laughs> they will find out. Can't have this black gravity. This, uh, we tugging on the universe. We don't know what this black gravity is doing to the universe. Tugging every which way yes, on the universe. We got <laughs> we got to find out what is happening. Sheriff. Go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> go round up some men. There you go. <laughs> We're going to get to the bottom of this black gravity. I'm telling you that right now. We're going to find out. <laughs> okay. I told you how stupid some of these questions were. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, uh, "Go ahead, because you don't get to see the questions." I don't. Yeah. So, so you were on. like, "You were like, no, give me a, give me a stupid question." Give me what you're calling a stupid question. Uh, you are not calling a stupid. question. Maybe it's deep, you are not and rude. you don't know why it's deep. Ooh, is that possible? That is very possible. There you go. But not for this question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Grieg wants to know this: When Superman farts, is the gas or the wind more lethal? Because he has super breath. You know what I mean? So would Superman have, would it be extra potent, one might ask? Right. I don't see why not. Because here's what's interesting. Here, here's something Superman would be cool if he could do this. You know his breath can freeze things. Yes. You've seen that. But I've never seen his breath turn things on fire. No, it hasn't. Whereas. His eyes do that. The methane, well, because he, he focuses a laser, laser on The right. methane that comes out, out of the, uh, out of the, uh, butt effluence is, mm -hmm. methane is actually flammable. Yes, it is. And that's the gas that is in the stove. If you have gas, typically in, in mm -hmm. the city, you'll have uh, methane coming out of your stove, right. all right, that, that lights. Okay. So- If he could look at his own butt, he could light his own farts. Well, what I'm saying, exactly. So he can use his laser to light the fart and turn it into a flamethrower. <laughs> I'm just inventing. I mean, you asked me the question was. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that, so that would just kind of look funny, right? He's got to birth him. He pulls down his drawers. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> No, I'm just, if, if it's flammable, for him it would be more flammable, right? Because <laughs> whatever it is in human, it's super in him. Oh God, no. Chuck, you're tearing up here. Oh <laughs> you're killing me today. <laughs> okay. But that image is is crazy. But it's, right? Is he that super thing? <laughs> Chuck is crying. Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> you asked the question. I'm just oh, saying, there's physics in everything. That's all I'm saying. Oh, God, I, can't, I can't tell you how sorry I am. I asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Well, Grieg. Oh, dude, you were too funny. Thank you. Who knew we would get all of that? I said it was a stupid question. I, I take that back. I... And we uh, discover a new power for Superman. Oh, God. <laughs> I will never get that image out of my head. <laughs> Every time I see Superman, I'm, um, I'm going to wait for him to pull down his pants, look at his butt, and turn his ass into a flamethrower. I'm sorry. That's amazing. Oh, God. Okay. So, Chuck, I've got an obscure one for you. Okay. Okay. There's a fellow named Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers. Uh, I, there are this. the papers. <laughs> Stop, Chuck. <laughs> there are <laughs> the papers. Everybody until Newton presumed that those colors were somehow getting generated inside the chandelier glass okay. or inside the raindrop. Right. That it was some property of the medium itself. Nobody was thinking that pure white light is composed of those colors. 
Oh, if only we could learn that lesson in our society. <laughs> God, Chuck we're getting all sociological. <laughs> Chuck getting all. <laughs> so imagine if Martin Luther King were more physics fluent. That would have right. been a whole different I have a dream speech. Yeah, it would. I have a dream <laughs> that one day we will recognize the white, black, red, or brown. We're all white. <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody would have tipped their head and said, "What? It's what? We invited I may this not man get there with this? you. I may not get there with you, but we'll all be white one day." <laughs> okay. The fun thing about black holes is you can get close to their center of mass and their entire mass is between you and their center. That's why they become interesting. S but puff it back up to the original size, there's no different. It, no, nobody cares. Right. That's why, so black holes are just, they're, they're, it, you can just get, it, it, it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is freaking brilliant. God, I love science. Okay. Right. Uh, the Martian atmosphere is one one hundredth the thickness of Earth's atmosphere. And that's why the whole scene in the movie The Martian where they can't leave, they're, they're trying to leave the planet oh, don't because do it. a windstorm, a on, dust storm it. is coming. Come on, man, don't and, do and, it. And, 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 and the rocket is oh, rocking. Come on! It's rocking back and forth. Do and they it. take off and they, and they gotta oh. leave Mark Watney on the surface because they're afraid they'll topple over from the wind. Oh man, another movie ruined. And the temperature's dropping because the temperature is the average speed with which the molecules are vibrating, the average kinetic energy of the molecule. So as that happens, the molecules get to a point where they can't vibrate any slower without becoming solid. Oh, so, so so they're just like, I can't do no more. <laughs> I, can't, I, just, I just can't do no more. <laughs> I'm so tired. Is that what so they sound like? I'm so tired of vibrating. <laughs> you, can oh, listen. you can listen to the oh. molecules. <laughs> oh, it just never ends. Oh, I can't. Oh. Scarlet, I can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do declare I'm just, I'm just exhausted. I'm just exhausted. And bam, then you become frozen. <laughs> Go on without me. <laughs> Just go on without me. <laughs> I will. I will executive privilege and say we will not do lightning round. Excellent. Okay. Good. We'll just continue to luxur continue to bask. Yes. In, nice. In the cosmic knowledge juxtaposed with cosmic ignorance. Sweet. And therein, uh, did, is you, the just, movie, is did the... you just describe the two people who are on <laughs> no, this podcast? No. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this? Chuck, happened? you need more self confidence here. <laughs> I was describing something bigger than us. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Here's where you have to be convincing. You have to say, I, I think my idea is better than your idea, and here's a way to test it. Right. So I, ha I have an idea. So if you don't like me, the way you show it is you design an experiment to show I'm wrong. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's some cutthroat, nasty stuff. That's some right cut. There. It's, oh, it's it's some nasty. Ooh, All right. That's some so real now, housewives you, stuff. <laughs> not real housewives. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, I, I, Phaedra. Your hypothesis <laughs> is trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> so now the drink will cannot melt the ice until what happens? Till the molecules start moving again. The, the, right. So it has. So the ice goes in at zero degrees. What happens to the temperature of the ice? Um, well, the temperature of the ice would stay. No. With the, no. The, the, no. 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 It is ice at zero degrees. Okay. You put but, it in your drink. But now, it, wouldn't it? Wouldn't the drink actually start taking the? No. Wouldn't the ice start taking the? Uh, the heat from the drink it yes. starts pulling it in. Yes, because yes. it okay. Okay, the same so now, way your freezer does. Yes, yes, Chuck. So Chuck the ice becomes it. your freezer, yes. basically yes. inside the glass. Yes. Inside the glass is in reverse freezer. All right. See, Mars. That's why nobody finds you attractive, because you why? don't have a magnetic field. 
Say, oh, just don't, don't. I just made that up. Come on, man. Oh, okay. All right. You don't have to test it on this program. <laughs> <laughs> Go to oh. open mic night and see how people do. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! Oh my! God. Oh, all of, oh. Boy, that, that Damn! That all I can say dig, is, though. Oh! Oh my goodness! Damn! Joe okay. just wiping away his tears. Oh now. man, because you got me with that one, man. That's, <laughs> you ain't got to test it out here. <laughs> test it out on my show. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I need some Visine now. Jesus. <laughs> You're the person who came up with spaghettification, if I'm not mistaken. No, I just popularized it. it really? Actually, yeah, it's true. Oh, I thought I thought you were, I thought you actually tar yeah. coined the term. No, no, I I popularized it, but the the uh, it's traceable to Martin Reese. Martin Reese. Sir Martin Reese. In fact, he got he's now Lord Lord Reese. Gotcha. Lord Mar Do you go to the first? A little full of himself, isn't he? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> just. <laughs> You call no. me Lord Reese. <laughs> oh, Sir Martin Reese. That's Lord Reese to you. <laughs> what the hell is that with Martin? <laughs> Just no, Mar Mar Marty. 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 Marty from the street corner. Said, what happened to you? Hey, Marty. <laughs> it's Lord Reese now. <laughs> what is Marty? What the hell is your problem, Marty? <laughs> Wait, he's not from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marty. Chuck, ready for another one? Oh, yes. Okay, this is the topic of white noise you know no no don't go there just, just stop. i'm just saying <laughs> Chuck. since since january 6th now that we bought it up no, i did not bring it up now that we bought it up i got it's just you know since january 6th has happened <laughs> while, while we're on the subject <laughs> white noise Right. <laughs> was long defined before the chaos at the Capitol. Okay. okay. All right. So, uh, white noise is what is described as a combination of sound frequencies that ends up just sounding like a, like a hiss. It, it's a hiss. Okay. Right. And so, what's going on there? As, as opposed to black noise, <laughs> which is... <laughs> Shut them damn kids up! That's black noise. <laughs> Y'all know I'm down here trying to watch my stories? <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? That is black noise. Black noise. That is black okay. noise. Rainbows, people said, oh, the raindrops are making the colors, not the sun. It's right. in the sunlight. This is freaky. How could color be in white light? What the hell is going on? Okay, well, you got to get into the physiology of the retina and the brain and all of that. The point is, your eyes are racist. <laughs> that <laughs> is how all the white, all the light is white. <laughs> all the colors come in to your racist eyes, <laughs> and all they see is white. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to just say that is the physics of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and that, by the way, let me what? just say this. What? What? Black noise and white noise make perfect sense together, okay? It's just like, what the hell is going on? What, how many times I'm going to tell you? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shut the hell up. I've never seen a tree come down before. And so they cut it down in sections, and the last section looks like a giant stump. Yeah. Because it is. Yeah. And then that portion that they cut off, they let fall. And when it fell, it made a thud that shook <laughs> my house. <laughs> I've never seen anything so heavy in my life hit the ground. And they didn't tell me, and it drove a big divot the length of the stump in the ground. I mean, I can't tell you how heavy trees are. If you were to go there and pick up that toppled stump and chuck it into a lake, it would float. It would float, yeah. Exactly. I'd also be getting my powers from the yellow sun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jorel. <laughs> I'm Jorel's illegitimate cousin. <laughs> they call me Black Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one who was living out in the shed, right? Yes, exactly. That <laughs> you came to Earth later. Right. <laughs> Kyle L was messing around. <laughs> With the help. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs>